Hi guys, so it's good news today. I have received my DVLA letter. So I've submitted an online application on the 25th of August and now today is the 7th of September so that is quite the timeline you'll be able to receive a letter welcome to part two let's open this up so what you will be receiving would be an envelope put on your application so you will be having your name on here and then your application number etc etc you have to fill this up and put this in the envelope the envelope that they provided they have also included a leaflet if you want to read it okay and the back portion would be this one too so all right let's just check on what is written in here okay and then signing the form and then a photo over here at the back it's just the instructions on what you will put in in a and b and C. So for the first one, part A, providing your identity digitally if you have a UK passport. But if you have no passport, you will complete the part B instead. So the part B, documents and clothes to prove your identity. So no photocopies. So what we, what my husband did with his application was to submit his BRP. This one, UK Biometric Residence Permit or BRP. So you just take one for that. And you have to include that in the mail the original brp not a photocopy so your original brp they will just give it back to you after the dvla license after a few days or a, a week they will give your brp back again through mail so that is very important take note of this when you don't have any travels you will not go back to the philippines or you have to make sure that you will not use your BRP soon because uh, your BRP license will be stuck in the DVLA for a few days. If you do not reply within 40 days, your application for the driver's license will be cancelled and you need to make another application. But they will refund your payment for that. So the final one is you have to take this one for your BRP and then your numbers here. I will write it because it's a secret and then you peel the one that is covered in here peel it and put your picture on top so we have to submit a photo of uh, the one of the requirements of the provisional driver's license so we'll just have this photo booth. I'll let you see the results later Okay na ba? Ellen Adorna it is. Charot! <laughs> you don't have to fill this up in two because it is written in here in B, the instructions that if you have agreed to us verifying your identity with blah 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 or BRP as proof of identity, then you do not need someone to sign the back of your photo. So that's more like it after you fill this up and then put your photo and then of course don't forget guys your signature signature i'm gonna put that signature later without the video because just because and then put this in like that 
so close it up but of course you have to go to your nearest post office to let this um, be mailed to them you have to put a stamp etc you have to actually pay a postage stamp for that and poof delivered to dvla so see you on part three to show you the update how many days would it be for your dvla to be delivered than your brp see you guys thank you again for watching my videos this is again felina capuso trying to pay it forward please subscribe like and share my videos Love lots from UK.